Hey guys, I'm going to do a quick recap of the Cup of China just because um, it was such a disaster that it's interesting to actually read about and talk about because um, originally before the competition even started, all people were saying that Japanese skaters might not be able to even attend because of this whole like thing going down with China and Japan and apparently like if, if like Masada Takahashi, Mr. Takahashi, um, went to the Cup of China, they might not be safe enough because like security reasons. And I see where they're coming from, but it's this whole big thing about how like they might not be able to and a lot of people were freaking out about that. And then there were so many withdrawals and so many changes and stuff during the competition, it's pretty interesting. Um, in the men, Brian Joubert um, placed seventh in the short and because he claimed to have fainted three times on the flight to China, he had a fever and was like feeling sick, so he didn't do so well. And they ultimately withdrew from the competition, which is the, which is the first gap. He's the first of, we've seen of him all year, so I'm not sure how this will play out for the rest of the season. Um, so Daisuke Takahashi took the short program as expected, except had a messy quad toe, but for the rest of it, he skated a clean short. But his teammate, Tatsuki Mishida, from Japan um, came just less, just over a point behind Takahashi, and it's actually quite surprising because I watched um, Mashida during Skate America, and he did a brilliant job in his free, and he had a clean short here. But a clean short is almost as close as a as a um, not perfect Takahashi says something about how much he has improved because I know that Takahashi Mashida has not been a really big player on the Japanese figure skating because it has been really big over Yuzuru Hanyu, Takahiro Kozuka, and um, Japanese before that, but bef but that's interesting to see how these things have played out. And then third place in the short was Sergei Monvarov from Russia, who had also had a clean short, and him and Mishida were the only ones to really skate clean in the short program. It just that Takahashi had really good Proko Kona scores, which kept him in first after the short. As he, as he, if you see him skate, he's kind of in a different league than the rest of these other guys. And then in the free, um, Tatsuki Mishida actually takes over Takahashi, even though they both didn't have clean shorts, I mean, clean freeze. Um, Mishida had a uh, messy quad toe and, mess and missed the, the combination in his triple axle. But aside from that, had a beautiful short. Uh, I mean, well, I can't talk. Beautiful free. And then, oh gosh, okay. And then Takahashi had a bunch of missed jumps and not a very good program overall. He did have, he still has a beautiful program generally, it's just that the jumps weren't there um, that night. But nonetheless, beautiful skater. And that's just what Mishida has shown is now competition for him on home. It's not just easier to hunt you anymore. He's also come to play. And then in the ladies, oh my gosh, so much went down. Okay. The only people I really I'm gonna focus on is the top two or so. Um Julia Lip Lipniskaya from Russia. She was the biggest rave last year and landed a beautiful triple X triple toe this time had a triple lip that got a edge call, um, but aside from that had a clean short. Malsada messed up her triple. Uh, she had an under under rotation on her triple flip double loop combination, um, and was one point behind Julia. And that's saying something because she was able to beat the ex Olympic silver medal medalist. That that being said, Masa had no triple triple or triple axel. Because if she did, she would have pwned her. But well, yeah. And then in the free, Masada took over Julia comfortably with four points over and won the the event over her by three points. Even with a not very clean free at all, with a civilian rotated triple toe on the back end of her double axel combination, under rotation on a triple flip. And two under rotation under three jump pass. Um, Julia d had a decent short aside from an under rotation on her open triple X, but nonetheless had a pretty good free. But maybe she needs to rework her program because her technical difficulty is significantly higher than Masada's. Though 
Massa that uh, still took it, oh, still took over by a comfortable four points, even though um, Julia had five points over her technically, and and Malasada had ten points over Julia in component scores. And considering that Malasada has been on the field for so long, Julia just debuted this year. One that shows how much Malasada needs to keep working, or she's gonna lose to Russian phenoms that are going to take over in Sochi. And Julia, kudos to her for having such high scores so early on. Um, in the pairs, Pang, Qing Pang and Dian Tong from China were expected to be the favorites in this competition. They were first after the short trailed by Russian Yuka Kapaguchi and Alexander Smirnov. In the free, they had a clean free aside from they both did a single axle, single axle sequence. What? And. <laughs> Um, they had their pair spin invalidated. Yuka Kavaguti and Alexander Smirnov had a bad opening jump, opening jump pass, and had a somewhat messy triple twist, and was and it wasn't their best, but they came pretty close otherwise in the free. But since they had a three point lead in the short, the Chinese still won, and then. Um, Russians Kinesia Sobola and Fedor Kilmov from Russia were able to have the second mark. And since there were only six pairs, it was not much of a competition, not gonna lie. Um, Canadians wanted to get the podium, but unfortunately did not make it, and they were just 0 0.2 points short of beating the second Russian team. So that's good. So try to, bad luck next time. And then in dance, um, Francis, Natalie Peschelot, and Fabian Borza had a clean short and had good levels. They got both level four and level three on their step sequences, um, followed by Kaylin Weaver and Angie Poge, who had a level four and level three as well. Um, the only difference between them really was program opponent scores by three points, and then um, technically they just didn't get. As high of a levels as the Italian, as the as the French did, because the French had had more like twos and threes and ones, ones to threes, while Kaylin and Weaver and Koji had more zeros to twos. So even though it doesn't seem like much of a difference, it makes a big difference if you're considering marginal differences between various teams. And then third place with the Katarina Barova and Dmitry Solovy from Russia. Their free dance is amazing, but their short was clean, which left them in a good position to go into the free dance. Which consisted of um, Peshla and Borjak killing um, both of those teams, and the Russians took over the Canadians with oh, by beating them in the free by two points, and then ultimately taking the silver medal over the Canadians by just um, by just over um, less than half a point. Um, and my computer's lagging, but um, it's interesting because the Russians. Um, took over the Canadians last time in dance at, I think it was Skate America, that they lost in the free dance because they were beating them in the short, but then in the free, they couldn't do as well, which makes me wonder maybe they should change up their free program. Their free dance maybe isn't as up to par. Maybe the Chikobata should just be Malad because that program was, like, phenomenally amazing. Like, I, would, this, I, I was at Skate Canada last year, and I saw it, and I cried. And that's a big deal for me because I don't that that doesn't happen usually. So maybe they should go back to that. I don't know because if they want to be competitive this year, because they were fourth last year, was their fifth year before that. A lot of people were saying how they're a really upcoming team. Um, before it was really Virtue Moyer, Meryl Davis, Charlie White who were the top two. Peshala, Borzat, and Weaver and Poggi were kind of like the back team kind of there. And then the Shibutanis were kind of there too, but then they're kind of iffy right now as well. And then the Russians are trying to get in on, on onto that like top range um, thing there. But yeah, and then the Cup of Russia was just past this past weekend, which I am not going to do a review for because it's kind of already passed, doesn't really make much sense. I'm trying to film this, this, that one at some point today so that when the Trophy Air Bombard starts, Today, um, it'll, it'll be a, a little bit. I'll be a little bit more on schedule for my YouTube posts.
But aside from that, I have to go to class because I'm going to be late. So I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.